Hey y'all, it's Tiffany with Thrifty Tiffany and I am back with a Sunday cook with me and I'm so excited to be here with you guys today. I love when we do Sunday dinners together. Um, tonight's gonna be a quick, easy night, but good, tried and true, a really good recipe. It feeds a lot of people. We have a family of four, I have three teens and myself and this is one of their favorites. Instead of making spaghetti all the time, this is a go-to to feed a crowd and they'll love it. Who doesn't love chicken fried rice? Who doesn't love chicken fried rice? And I know I've probably made this on my YouTube before, but we're gonna do it again. And today we're gonna cook our chicken in my air fryer. Y'all love air fryer, love it. And of course we're gonna cook our rice in my rice maker right here. I love this, it was about 20 bucks from Target. You can get it from Walmart, Amazon, best purchase. This and an air fryer gets so much use in my household. Makes the perfect rice, no guessing, takes all the guesswork out of it, I love it. So tonight we're gonna use chicken breast and to feed a family of four, these two huge breasts will go, go a long way, y'all. Cause I'm gonna cut these in half, so it'll make four breasts. But then for chicken fried rice, you know you cut up the pieces, slice the pieces of chicken. So, ta-da, it feeds a lot of people. So these two breasts are gonna feed a family of four and I guarantee you we'll, we, we will have leftovers and I can't talk as usual, you guys know this. So you need some chicken breasts. Um, you need a bag of rice. Of course we're not gonna use all this. We use, I do two cups of rice. It goes a long way because they puff up. So two cups of rice, two chicken breast, one onion. Um, I'll use probably two or three of these garlic cloves, not sure yet. I uh, just kind of gauge it once I start cutting it. About four eggs. Now you don't have to do four eggs. Cash loves a lot of eggs in his fried rice. Um, and still this is not gonna look like a lot once I start making it and putting all the stuff in. You will need a frozen thing of peas and carrots. This is a dollar, literally a dollar at Kroger. So very easy. This meal is so easy and so affordable. I'm telling you, it goes a long way. You'll need some light soy sauce or regular soy sauce. I kind of go for the light most times. Black pepper, maybe, maybe a little bit of salt on the chicken breast, only because you're gonna be using soy sauce and that, that takes a lot of the salt factor in it. But we're gonna get started. We're gonna make chicken fried rice and we're gonna start with just getting our breast ready. That's the first step you should do is just go ahead and get your breast cooking we gotta slice it and do all of that and we'll go ahead and get our rice started. But I'm so glad to be here with you guys. So if you wanna watch, stay tuned. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. Click that bell button so you're notified every time that I upload. And thank you so much for clicking on this video. Um, here is the next part. Okay, y'all, we're gonna do two cups of rice in this rice cooker and this is a half a cup right here. So I gotta do four of these. Ooh, a little less of that next one. Then got to do. Let me see if I can get the measuring cup. No, y'all. I've been wearing this shirt like crazy. I know you're probably like she has wore that shirt almost in every video. Yep, I got it on. It's my relaxing around the house shirt, and I'm cooking Sunday dinner with it on. So we're gonna do, we did two cups of rice. So you do um, three cups of water, because it's one and a half per cup. Got the water in there, and you don't want to add, usually I add salt to my rice. You don't want to add it this time because we're going to be putting soy sauce in it to make the fried rice. So don't add nothing to it. Just let it cook away. Put that on cook, and that's good. Alrighty, y'all. So we're going to take our two humongous chicken breasts. Look at this baby right here. Now, how I'm going to do this because it's just going to be in slices, this is so big, I do, I wanna take off this fat real quick. And then, um, 
you can just fillet it down so it's not such a thick because we're gonna be cooking it in the air fryer which i can leave it this thick but i'm not going to just so to cut down on the cooking um i'm gonna do it this way you can actually make three pieces of chicken out of one large chicken breast so i just cut down see this line right here this is your tenderloin right here down this curve right here so we can just go ahead and cut our tenderloin off so see that's a chicken tenderloin right there that's what they usually look like cut that little tender part off that little forgot part so this little tender and you can fillet it down the middle like this so it becomes like a full look you cut it like that see how it become a full piece of chicken like it looks like a little breast now because you filleted it down the middle so I'm gonna air fry that I'm gonna season that with salt and pepper so that one's ready so watch you can make three pieces of chicken out of one and then cut this down the middle you want to go right down the middle so hold the top lay it flush on the ground and go ahead and do that fillet it like a heart see my heart see the heart chicken is life okay so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna just cook these three fillets and um see this is how you can stretch your money here you get three pieces of chicken out of one huge ginormous breast so we're gonna put that over there and we're gonna air fry that one in a minute and we're gonna get this one ready I'm gonna cut this little piece off the end this one's a little frozen still we're gonna trim it a little bit cut this tender off see again you're gonna see the line this is the tender this side is the tender and then we're gonna take that tender right here and we're gonna cut that baby right down the middle just to give you an extra flatter piece of chicken see make make a whole little piece there and then we're gonna cut all the fat off there then we're gonna cut this one open right down the middle lay that real nice and cut it all the way through so now you got three from that one so that's how you could get all your meat all this meat out of two breasts there's my two breasts turned into six breasts right here and this is a normal size but this is actually large look at it look how thick it is so we're gonna salt and pepper this. Let me wash my hands real good right here. Okay y'all, so when seasoning chicken for chicken fried rice, keep in mind, always keep in mind you're gonna have soy sauce that you're flavoring the whole thing with. That's what gives it the dark color of chicken fried rice. So only put a little bit of salt. You wanna season your chicken now. Always season your chicken, but you don't wanna put too, too much. So we're gonna add this pink Himalayan salt. I need to spread it open a little bit, hold on. And add pepper. We're just doing this with salt and pepper again because it's going inside of something that's already seasoned. You don't wanna mess up the dish by adding all of this and all of this flavors and all of these flavors. You, you want your chicken to tastes like chicken fried rice. If you, I'm gonna use this hand and season with this hand. So that's why I'm turning it over. Um, yeah, you don't ever wanna add like Italian seasoning or paprika or different things. You don't wanna mess up the whole flavor of it tasting like chicken fried rice. You don't wanna mess that up. So we're gonna add this salt and then, oh, I can't do that salt. I have to do this salt because I have my hand add a little bit of this salt all right so that's a good little season and i'm gonna add olive oil with this hand because i'm still holding this hand out we're gonna add olive oil and we're gonna put this in the air fryer this is my first time doing the air fryer for the chicken fried rice but i'm like that's gonna be much easier let me turn it with this one Olive oil it up, give it good, cause it's gonna be in the air fryer. Alrighty, now we're gonna put in the air fryer. All right, y'all, we got our air fryer right here. I'm gonna put it, just put it in here. I have a huge air fryer. So we're just gonna lay them in here. 
olive oil has olive oil on it. Alrighty, now we're gonna actually turn the air fryer on. Put this up here and wash my hands. Okay, so we have them in there. I'm gonna stick this in the air fryer. And we'll start with three, we'll start with 360 for 15 minutes. And we got her going there. All right, y'all, so we're gonna go ahead and turn this on to go ahead and get some of the onions going. Get that going, put some olive, oops, that over there. Actually, that over there. Put some olive oil in the bottom of the pan. This is where we're gonna go ahead and get some of the, this is where we're gonna put all of it together. Put the rice in here, the chicken in here, and um, we're gonna stir fry, or like fry, stir fry saute. <laughs> The onions, I went ahead and grabbed some green onions out of my refrigerator also, because that's always good, and chicken fried rice. And we're gonna start with, we're gonna go ahead and chop up the garlic. Actually, we'll go ahead and chop up the onions. Doesn't have to be perfect. Again, this is just chicken fried rice all mixed in. It's gonna cook down. Go ahead and actually just start putting them in the in your pot. Start putting them babies in your pot. Onions first. Pull this up a little bit. Just putting them. I want you to be able to see me. There you go. Oh my goodness gracious! I can't get it right. much better got you up higher so we got the onions in here with the olive oil again don't add any salt because we're gonna end up putting the soy sauce in here but we can't add a little bit of pepper because your girl loves pepper so add some pepper um, then we're gonna cut up some cloves of garlic and like I've always told you guys move this over use the back of your knife to smush it and then cut it. If you want a really nice mince on your garlic, so use the back, the back of the knife, and mince it down, and like flatten it. Act like you're cutting it, but you're mincing it with the back, squishing it. Helps you get a nice, not where you don't get too big of chunks. And I don't know if I'm gonna use all this. Oh, I might as well, you know. I don't want it too garlicky though. I think I usually do two two cloves. Hmm. Yeah, I might not do all of this. Yeah, this is about two and a half cloves. I'm gonna save this other to the side because this looks like it's enough. Then go back and chop it up. Chop her up. how you make takeout at home. It's a lot friendlier on your budget. And it's a switch up from having spaghetti or hamburger helper or things like that. You know, or tacos or meatloaf. It's a nice little something different that you can make a lot of at one time. got that really nice and minced and we're going to put that in with the onions in just a second. Wash my hands and the air fryer is still going over there. If you hear it, it's pretty loud. Um, this is when we're going to fry our egg in here and everything. So we're going to go ahead and get this, start mixing it up. Let me scoot y'all a little closer like that. garlic. That's a good bit of garlic right there, y'all. And 
Don't burn your garlic. Do not burn your garlic. Add a little bit more olive oil. Let that fry up for a second and we'll be back. Okay y'all, so this is our onions and garlic right now. Looking good. Do not burn your garlic. Remember, keep moving it around. You'll smell it if you burn it. And now we're gonna add in our uh, peas and carrots. Alrighty, so we got our peas and carrots. I'm just gonna add the whole bag in so it'll go a long way. They could be frozen or you could sit them out for a little while. That's what I did. I had them sitting out just for a little bit. You see they still have a little bit of ice on them. And let's get them a cooking real quick. These are already cooked. They just, you know, they're frozen. Got to be warmed up. Now, with all this together, oh, there goes the, um, let's see what these look like after 15 minutes. Okay, okay. Probably need to go just a little bit longer. And we'll see. They don't look very seasoned, again, because they go in the stir fry, but I'm gonna chop them up in a little bit. I think I'm gonna put them back on. Well, let me check a little pink on the inside. So I'll put it on there again, 360 for 15 minutes. I'll probably take it out before that. And we got this going over here. Let this cook for a little bit. And we might add a little bit, y'all, we might add a little bit of salt and pepper to this. So this is our rice still cooking still steaming away it's not done. okay y'all so now we're gonna start adding the eggs so it can fry sorry the camera's moving so it can fry in with this Ooh, don't want to get it. just add it in there and it's gonna start frying up and again we used more because cash likes the egg in it and then you just start like mixing it in there You'll just see it start looking like an egg mixture, but it's frying on the bottom. Gonna add another one. And one more. This is a good way to get some protein in too. So I added a total of four eggs to ours. And I did add a little bit of salt and pepper, just because I feel like I'm gonna have a lot here. Okay, y'all see how it's looking? It's looking a little crazy. Looking like scrambled eggs with vegetables. <laughs> but that's how it needs to look, because again, we're gonna add all that rice and all that chicken, so you'll see it distribute very well. Okay, so time to pour our rice in. It just finished steaming over here. I'm gonna take the whole container. Just pull the container out of the rice thing like that. See how beautiful it is? I'll fluff it out. Add all that rice into there. This makes a lot. Two cups of rice makes a lot. Yeah, I need a new pot holder, y'all, I know. <laughs> I actually have all the stuff I buy from Dollar Tree. I actually have some. I just grabbed this one. I need to just throw it away. Isn't that funny how you have new stuff and you still grab the old stuff? I'm telling you, it's hilarious. Now mix it up. Let me turn this on low because I'm gonna wait on the chicken. But let me show you how when I mix it, it starts looking like fried rice. But then we haven't added the soy sauce yet to where it turns, you know, the brown color for fried rice. See how that egg and vegetable distribute perfectly throughout it? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Rice is cooked perfect. I turn the oven off for a minute until this chicken gets done. It's actually probably done. I'm gonna need to slice it up. Alrighty. Let me show you, hold on. It's like it's going dead over here. But this is what it's looking like so far. Perfect, perfect. All right, y'all, just pulled it out. I'm gonna move this up here. Just pulled out the beautiful chicken. Move out the way so you guys can see chicken and I'm gonna put it over here to rest and I'm gonna chop it up, slice it. All right y'all, so there's our chicken, it's resting. I sliced it there to make sure it was done, but it is resting and then we will chop it up. Okay y'all, we're gonna try to chop this chicken. It's a little, still a little warm, but this is how I slice my chicken. Gotta slice it kind of like at an angle, like this. 
and then we'll end up slicing it again in half just so it'll go a long way. So again, we're just gonna do a bunch of slicing Because we did the trimming at the beginning, it won't be so bad. So I did it in a line. So what I do is I just take it like that and then go down the middle. And there you go, look at all that chicken. So that's my little slicing. Again, we're gonna slice this. Slice it down the middle. And there you go, that one need to do it again. There you go. If it's really big, slice it three times down. So you have a little chunks of chicken. chicken. I love cooking air fryer. This was a lot easier, less mess, and it came out juicy and everything. So air fryer is a win for the, just, just grilling a chicken breast or air frying a chicken breast came out wonderful and juicy. The air fryer is like the best invention ever. I'm obsessed with it, seriously. Look at all this chicken, all this chicken. And that's what we're about to add into our uh, chicken fried rice. All right, I'm gonna add this on down in here. And then we're gonna start adding our soy sauce, soy sauce. And then this baby is done. She can sit in this pot for when everybody's ready to eat. Cause you know, teenagers. I ain't never ready. Plus, I gotta go get cash this evening. It ain't even time. He ain't even off of work yet. But now we're gonna take our soy sauce and you're gonna add a good bit. Let me mix this chicken down in there so it can soak in the rice. The rice is still nice and hot, so the soy sauce can soak in it. So you just take it, just start squeezing it, girl. Just start squeezing it. You'll use a good bit. Let me mix it. Let me turn this back on. I'm gonna turn the oven back on, stove top. Mix it in, let me show you what it's looking like. Gotta mesh all the flavors together. And this is why you don't wanna add too much salt to anything, because you add that soy sauce to the rice. That was probably a good bit of soy sauce right there. Did I do too much? Lordy Jesus. No, it's good. Perfect amount. show y'all I'm gonna turn around and okay, show y'all that's what she's looking like chicken fried rice and then I got my uh, green onions right here sprinkle that over it yes ma'am she is the beauty that is it and thank you guys so much for watching that is the end of our video if you would like check out my Instagram I have a food inst Instagram you will see the plated version of this dish at taste.of.tiffany. Check me out over there on Instagram. Um, we just reached 2,000 um, followers over there on Instagram. So check me out if you like these food videos and you wanna see food pictures of the food plated up. So check me out over there. Love you guys so much and this is the end and definitely try this recipe out. It's really good, really easy, so simple. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday evening. I love y'all so much and thank you all for the love and support. Bye everyone.